Well, hey folks, it's your old pal King Waspinator. Welcome back to Total Party Skills. I'm gonna try to just keep this one a bit quick and to the point. It's a new year. Got a couple of new books that I just uh, put out this week. Uh, first one is a, a holiday collection bundle for Valentine's Day, taking the uh, Lady Spy Detective Core Rule Book, its source book, uh, which is a, a bunch of adventure scenarios under the you know title of Mission Profiles for various types of spy agencies uh, that are you know detailed in the Core Rule Book, and then I also threw in a, a source book from one of my other games that that has materials that pair well. Uh, with the, the various themes that are going on in Lady Spy Detective. All uh, for 10 bucks if you get it as a PDF on DriveThruRPG, or 15 bucks if you want to order a paperback copy off Amazon. I'll leave links, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the, the more uh, new of the two things, though, considering that that's just a collection of stuff that's, you know, already have out there and is just kind of for people who haven't, you know, gotten around to pulling the trigger on that yet and maybe throwing in some extra material might sweeten the deal. Uh, the new thing is, though, as I put up the character casting guide for SOS Shark Onslaught Survival. Um, because of all the stuff going on with the OGL, uh, I'm kind of have uh, the executive production guide on hold. Uh, I do have it outlined. Uh, it's going to present, you know, a bunch, you know, a bunch of just, you know, uh, sample scenarios for, you know, what I mean by shark themed adventures and, you know, dungeon master advice and a bunch of archetypes, uh, for, you know, like kind of uh, adding a supernatural or some sort of weird sciencey twist to your shark scenarios. But since it is an OSR game, uh, the character creation rules can be, you know, basically, uh, you know, uh, jury rigged on to existing, uh, D and D and OSR rules uh, sets, which probably already have stats for sharks. And considering that you are an imaginative person who can imagine what a cheesy shark movie role-playing game might be like and what kind of adventure scenarios you can come up with that from simple little things if you're all stuck on a boat and there's a shark circling you to some weird underwater heist where you got to break into a sunken submarine and a, you know a swarm of killer cookie cutter sharks are being mind controlled by you know whatever you know you can mix in all sorts of stuff that already exists in D D in terms of wacky sea creatures and other things just to kind of throw players off scent but what the character casting guide does is it completely reframes how the player characters will, will work. Um, instead of choosing between race and class, it's uh, you're choosing the character's typecasting and then what trope uh, they're playing in the story. So in a way, the, there's kind of a meta-narrative thing going on where the, your player's characters are actors in a shark movie kind of a thing if you can get your head around that and you can either play that you know like straight as just within the re the reality created you know within the plot of the movie or you can take it like one step outward and kind of slightly break that fourth wall where you know the characters are actually the actors and that's just the movie that they're in goes haywire or something uh it should lead to interesting places, and also it's uh, the just the the entire setup for what kind of you know typecasts are available and what kind of tropes are presented is all in my own just kind of you know a uh, uh, tongue in cheek commentary on the evils of the film and television industry. Uh, but you know, as I said, it's it's not entirely finished. Like I, 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 I'm waiting to see if, if whether or not a people are even interested in the thing, and b whether or not uh, the OGL uh, winds up in a in a form that I feel you know comfortable continuing to write things that dabble in the, in the edges of uh, D20 systems. This though is like so massively changed. Uh, you know, from like what current fifth edition stuff is like, I you know, I don't really feel like there's any particular conflict of interest in what I've I've put out here. Uh, as a side note, though, because of typecasting and pulling it away from like what are your characters' aspects being biological anything, it, you know, uh, I, I've been I feel like I've been able to bring back uh, having both positive and negative ability score modifiers uh, in a way that shouldn't like be you know like. Oh, are you saying that all lizard people are stupid? Uh, kind, of, kind of stuff. So, anyway, check it out. It's only $4.99 on DriveThru RPG, or you can get a hardcover copy on Amazon. Links for that may or may not be left below. I might be lazy and just leave a general link to my DriveThru RPG page. Who will see? Who knows? The future could be anything now, can't it? Well, anyway, until next time, stay waspidated.